Hey, hey, you guys. Okay, we're live. So we are going to get into the March Craft and Style subscription box by Pop Shop America. This is what the box looks like. Here's all the supplies that are in it. The only difference is that when this is sent out, it's full of like cutesy, crinkly paper and all kinds of good stuff. So I removed that just so we can actually take a look at the box contents. Um, and we're just going to get into it. So again, uh, Pop Shop America. March craft and style subscription box. It's always available at popshopamerica.com and in the menu you'll see the craft and style button and you can just click that and order it there. And each month is tons of different DIY projects that all come together and lots of cute little freebies and fun stuff. So I'm just gonna put this box together so you guys can see all of the different items and see how they fit together and see that in real time. Um, we do have blog tutorials that go through all of the demos but sometimes that can be confusing or it's just nice to hear me like talk through it so this is Brittany um, I'm the founder of pop shop America usually Michelle does these videos but she's out of town having lots of fun right now um, so that's really cool and we're so happy for her and I'm always happy to do um, this unboxing um, I always do the IGTV unboxings um, where I show you the contents of the new box, but usually when it comes to these tutorials, Michelle does that because she's actually the best teacher in the whole world. Um, but I taught her everything she knows, and I used to be a good teacher, so here we go. So this is just a cute free printable that comes with it. This is really great. So this is really helpful because it has your entire supply list. So this is everything that comes in the box and this is just a really handy guide. Like if you misplace anything or you get confused about what something is, then this is a really good reference. Here's your instructions. And the pieces that we're gonna use are in here. We're gonna use these binder clips for this making the simple circuit. And these are really adorable binder clips. We tried to get ones that were really stylish. I'm gonna use these LED lights. Same thing with these. You can actually get these in a rainbow of colors, but we got the white ones just because we thought they were pretty. You're gonna use this watch battery and I'm gonna do a close up so you can see all the stats on this battery. My kitty cat is here. I think he's gonna come be in the video. And I'm not gonna use these yet. I'm gonna use them later. Anyway, so I'm gonna use those pieces. I'm gonna use this copper tape. Copper tape, LED lights, mini clips, watch battery, and our simple circuit guide. Now, if you don't have the box, but you want to follow along in this tutorial, that's totally okay. You can get this on the blog. So if you go to blog, you click the craft and style section of the blog, um, and you look for how to make a simple circuit, you can download and print out this template right here. And so this is actually really easy. Um, and what's really cool about this is you can use this light later in the paper lamp that we're gonna make. Um, you can use this light on your own. You could do this with kids just for fun and to show them how circuits work and electricity. This is also really great for adults just to feel like we're always in a state of learning. We can always try new things. Um, so I'm going to need a couple of those. This copper tape, I mention this in the brochures. I mention this in every single blog post. This, if it starts to get bent, it will show its bends. So try to be really gentle with this. And you know what I'm gonna do is because this is actually the least attractive part, making the circuit. So you see this one right here, how it's kind of like bent and wonky. I'm gonna use this piece. That way I can save the more stylish pieces for something um, that just needs like a smooth edge. So the other thing I have here, I have some scissors. That's not included in the kit. But hopefully everybody has some scissors. And you see how I'm just like cutting this copper tape to the length of that end right here? So that's perfect. And then look, this is like, oh, this is perfect too. Wow, that's great. 
Um, we did try to measure the copper tape like really accurately, but I mean, Michelle and Kathy really nailed it. Michelle and Kathy are usually the ones that prep and pack, pack the boxes. Whereas I'm the one that sends emails and kind of talks to everybody. So if you get an email about craft and style, it's probably me. Um, usually in your kit, it'll say like who packed it. And like if it says my name on it, it's really just like for glory because really Kathy is the one that's putting in her, um, her back into it to uh, get you guys all those boxes and make everything look all cute. And then Michelle's the one that kind of like styles everything and figures out how to like package the copper tape and make it look cute and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely a team effort. So see, we have all of our pieces cut and now I'm just gonna tape them down. And so the trick is to make this circuit, we need to leave this gap here where we're gonna put the LED light. And then the only other trick is that in these corners, we need the copper tape to overlap. And so this is really crazy because this copper tape, I mean, it's just tape, but it conducts electricity. And it's really pretty. So we just peel it off the backing. And then I'm just gonna fix it down. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, my boyfriend is jamming Smashing Pumpkins so hard right now. We were talking about Landslide, which I have never heard by the Smashing Pumpkins, which apparently was like a huge hit when we were like 15. And um, I mean, I'm familiar with Landslide. I think everybody is, but I never heard the Smashing Pumpkins version. So he is now on a Smashing Pumpkins kick. So hopefully these videos don't hit a copyright in YouTube. So I'm not sure if you're seeing how like this corner is like kind of getting picked up, right? So I'm just using my nails to fold it back down so that it's nice and even. So that might be a quirk that you run into, but that's okay. So see, here's what I'm talking about, how we want this tape to overlap. We need for all of the corners to touch each other um, and, um, and really make like a good contact. So we don't want them to just be barely touching, we want them to completely overlap on the corners. And then this took me, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, this took me about two pieces of the copper tape that come in the kit. Um, I would say for this, this is maybe six inches, seven inches, maybe an inch, inch and a half little bit closer to two inches, a little bit closer to two, and then maybe like half an inch. We have a kitty cat visitor as well on top of having some smashing pumpkins jamming in the background. My kitty cat friend, Kobe, is, I'm gonna see if I can, do you hear him? Here, I'm gonna show you his paws. He's like, there he is. He's like right behind me, just like making noise, so. He ends up in so many blog posts. He ends up in so many different blog posts. All right, so just a couple pieces left. So we put the copper tape down first. And then we're going to add the LED light after that. And so see, whenever I'm putting this copper tape down, another thing is that you wanna make sure that the whole thing is nice and flat. That's another key component to making sure these pieces connect, is just make sure that the copper tape is firmly in place. And then here's our last little piece. And you know what, before I move on, I'm going to just go ahead and fold this right here just so I can kind of see that fold later. Just figure I'll do that now. All right, so LED light time. So let's open these bad boys up. And we need one, but we've got two LED lights in here and that's just in case something goes wrong or maybe if you accidentally like 
damage this somehow. I don't think that any of these are very delicate. Um, any of these materials, I wouldn't say that any of them could get damaged easily, but you never know. So we just need the tiniest little bit of tape and that's the only other thing that was not included in the kit. And that's because this is the only time we're gonna use this tape is for this little section right here. And it's so little tape that it just seemed silly to include it in the box. It just would have been a kind of a waste. And you can use scotch tape, or I'm right now I'm using packaging tape. Um, you could also use electrical tape. And so because you have that flexibility in the tape that you used, it did seem kind of silly to include it in the kit. So I just have two tiny little pieces. And so you see how I bent these? These are called leads. And I just bent them away from each other. And I, I'm gonna try to bend them sort of straight so that they'll really make a strong contact with that copper wire. And I'm gonna do one piece at a time. And again, we just want that tape to be nice and firm so that we make a strong contact with the copper wire. And then the LED leads. And so we've got both of those pieces there. And you see how I'm actually using my nail to like make sure that the tape is gonna hold it in place. And so we're almost done. So we have our simple circuit. Again, just some copper tape right here. Make sure the corners connect. LED light goes next. Last, we're gonna add the battery. Now batteries, as you know, have a positive and negative. So that's why the positive and negative are marked right here on this template. So we wanna make sure that we line it up correctly. So here, we've got the positive right here. And then this is the info about if you wanna get these watch batteries again later. Um, you could do this experiment again anytime. And so let's just make sure this bad boy works. Yep, see how he lights up? So awesome. And so the binder clip right here is just gonna hold it in place. And then we've got these like cute little copper ones. Some people got silver, so it'll be nice and pretty and match. And that is just to hold the battery in place. Now, how long will this LED light live? How long will this battery live? Quite some time. Many, many, many hours. And then what you can do is you can just unclip it whenever you wanna turn this light off. And this is actually really bright. So this is bright enough for a lamp. It's bright enough for just like a little thing. And what you can actually do is you can trim this right here. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that. So see, I can make this whole paper piece smaller once I have the circuit in place. And if you're really careful, what else you can do is you can even kind of bend it so that you can make this into like a smaller, right? So like if you wanna use this inside of the lamp, like you can just kind of wrap this together and you see you still got that light going. That, do you see how like if I bend it, it kind of goes off and on a little bit? And that's okay, just kind of be delicate with it and just figure out what's gonna work for you. But anyway, so there we've got our simple circuit. Again, you can find this tutorial, this template, at popshopamerica.com on the blog. Click Craft and Style Instructions from the blog menu, and then look for how to make a simple circuit. And you can download this again, and then it came in the March Craft and Style box. So we are going to move on to our next tutorial, which will be making a paper lamp with this light.